These are the pregnancy tests I've taken every single month. And, you know, obviously we weren't pregnant. And, um... I know, I already know I'm gonna cry. <laughs>
Jesus, that's pregnant right there. What's that? I'm like scared. I don't believe it. Come here, babe. You're pregnant. <laughs> I am or not. I mean, but it says I'm pregnant. <laughs> I just don't believe it. <laughs> oh. You better believe it. You're so jealous. So, obviously, it's a very emotional thing. Um, and I'm sure even seeing this again, a year from now, like it's never gonna be easy to, you know, go through or see again or whatever because that was the first, really the first time I ever got pregnant. So it's very like, ugh, it just like hits me in a certain way. But those of you guys who commented, who went out of your way to tell me not just like nice things to get me through it, but you also shared your stories with me, it helped a lot of other people, not just myself. And it is crazy because I want to all always inspire you guys and motivate you guys and support you guys and just the way that you guys do me and I just feel like YouTube has just become that place where even a year from now I'm still getting messages about my miscarriage and people are still leaving their stories below and it just like brings a lot of it's like a bittersweet moment because obviously it brings me pain and like I feel bad for a lot of people out there but you guys are not the only one if you're somebody who is new that just recently went through something like this, you suffered through a miscarriage, whether it was before, you know, your five weeks or even five months later, it does, it hurts the same, you know what I mean? I just wanted to also get Conrad's, basically like what he went through, because I know you don't hear from a lot of men and the other person that went through it, so I just wanted you to kind of share your thoughts of everything, how it happened, and basically like how you feel now, now that it's been a year that we've been through this. Right. Um, so my take on it was a little, obviously, a little different than Lissette's. Um, You know, this was basically like her first pregnancy that uh, she was experiencing. So, you know, everybody already knows I have five kids of my own. Um, but within having, those, you know, my children throughout my life, whatever, I have experienced... It, this heartbreak many a times already um, just at least four or five times that I can even think of so I took it a little bit differently I already know like you know if it's if it's if it's in the cards if it's in the card right if it's meant to be it's meant to be so I already kind of had that mindset and I think that you know I would hope that it helped the set um, get through that as well it's never a good feeling to lose a baby you know what I mean? Like she said, whether it's five weeks or five months. I have a brother that, you know, he he lost my nephew, like, during birth. So it's like there's a lot of different ways that, you know, people are affected by this. There's some people that have hit up Lissette saying, like, I've had 11 miscarriages. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So in that, I think I just tried to help her see the light in it and just give her the the bright side of things, like, A, you can get pregnant, so that was a kind of a thing that mm -hmm. was a question in her head before that. It didn't happen this time, but it'll happen. It'll happen when it happens. And it's crazy because I really, as I'm sitting here thinking about it a year later, because you were so calm, it made me be calm. And because you were so reassuring, it made me feel like everything was gonna be okay. And like, like I said, he was a very huge part of that, that got me through that. Also, I wanted to talk about Pregnancy test. Um, this is not a pregnancy reveal, I promise. <laughs> but I know that there's a lot of other women who struggle with getting pregnant after a miscarriage. And this is me. I've always been very open, very raw, very real. I've shown you guys my good, bad, ugly cry. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to show you. Oops, I wanted to show you this. So I just lost one. There's one on the floor. Um, these are all the pregnancy tests, not even because we've actually thrown out some by accident, but besides the one on the floor, these are the pregnancy tests I've taken every single month, okay? I've taken one every single month, sometimes twice a month, um, and, you know, obviously we weren't pregnant, and, um, I know. 
know, I already know I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it's okay. You're but allowed. you're allowed to. Thank you. But um, you know, it's never gonna be easy because every month you think you're pregnant or it's crazy because pregnancy harm, I mean pregnancy symptoms and period symptoms are very much alike and there's times that I've told Conrad, like, oh my God, my boobs are sore. Like, I'm probably pregnant. And, you know, you go to take the test and then you're just like so sure of it. And it comes out negative. Like, you're not, you're not pregnant. And I just wanted to share this moment with everybody just to like share this with you so that you know you're not alone. Um, I'm going through this too. It has been a year of trying and we have not gotten pregnant. And it's, it's a sad thing. We're, we're still trying. Uh, we appreciate everybody's uh, support. And um, like she said, you know, people are still hitting her up about it, you know, having conversations with uh, Lissette about it, um, seeing how she's doing. And, you know, that's real, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's, that's how we know that, you know, we're not just here doing funny videos or whatever. And like, you got, like, we, I really feel like there is a connection uh, with you guys and you know, I appreciate that. We're gonna continue to do what we do uh, Keep pushing forward and if it's part of the plan for her to be pregnant maybe right now Then that's that's what it is. It might be pregnant I mean? right she now. She could be. She's been talking about certain <laughs> symptoms she's been having and stuff like that um, I just want I just really want you guys to know that I Went through this. Maybe you've gone through this. Maybe it's been something in the past that you suffered through um, but the crazy thing is of, of it all is we are so strong. Women are so strong. We're so resilient. We can get through anything. You know what I mean? And although it's not maybe something that we wanted, not anything that we asked for, not something we could have seen, you know, beforehand, but we all have our own stories. You know what I mean? We all have our own journeys. We all have our own path. And believe it or not, this was a part of the plan. And, you know, it makes me so sad to even think about it because I'm like, okay, I'm here preaching it, but sometimes we have to remind ourselves that this is what it is. There's a reason why things didn't work out. And, you know, obviously you can question, you can judge and say, why me? Why did this happen? There's a million people out there that went through this and are going through this just like us. So just know that it's not in the cards for us now, but it doesn't mean that it won't happen. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to basically, since it's been a year, we wanted to come back on here and kind of revisit, you know, that situation and let you know that, um, we are trying because literally we get messages all the time about you guys should try or you guys should have a baby. And it's like, oh, we're trying, we're trying, we're very much trying, but right now it obviously hasn't happened and there's a reason for it. Um, so just be, have belief and, you know, keep the faith and don't give up on yourself. And if you need a place to come back to, if you feel like you're alone, please go visit my last um, video when I did have the miscarriage a year ago because there's so much good stuff in the comments and I'm sure we're probably gonna have some good stuff here after this video goes live. So just know that this is a place you can always come to, never feel judged, comment on each other's posts and just know that you have support no matter what. Um, and that's it, I just wanted to say Thanks, babe. Love you. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this video. We love you guys so much. Thank you for your overwhelming support always. Um, and within the past year, just know that we love you. We see you. We've heard you. So thank you so much for all of your sweet messages. If you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Comment down below. And we'll see you in the comments. All right, Joe. Bye.